Today I'm going to replace um, my uh, garage door uh, sensor battery. I'm going to replace the lithium uh, 3 volt battery on my uh, Q garage door uh, position sensor. Since I get a, a message on my cell phone on the app, on the MyQ app on my phone saying that my battery is low. So um, I have been doing some research and found out that I need to change the battery on this MyQ sensor door sensor. So let's stay tuned and see how I did it. So I'm making this video for you so you know what to do in the event you see the message on your garage door app. Okay, um, here is the tools that you're going to need it to replace the battery. So first thing, uh, it is a small Phillips screwdriver or a Q-tip. Either way, it's up to you how you want it. And also, you're going to need the new battery. And the new battery, it is a CR2450 3-volt lithium battery. Okay, so before you replace the battery, you will have to locate um, your um, door sensor or garage door position sensor uh, by the door. And here is mine. So I will uh, have to remove this and then uh, pop the cover off to replace the, um, the um, battery. So here I took it out of the garage door and here it goes. And here is the back of the uh, garage door sensor and here is the front of the garage door sensor. Okay, um, this is the back, I mean the where you uh, push this button to open the um, garage door position sensor. And like I said, um, you remove this from the garage door and this is the top of it and this is the bottom of the uh, sensor. So to open, push the little thing down and just pop the top cover off and here is the battery. And um, the battery, I will show you the battery number. And I will, uh, next, I will show you how you can remove the battery of it. There are two ways or tools that you can use to push out the battery out of the uh, battery uh, compartment. Uh, so one way to do is just push this thing out so the battery will pop out at the place and then just remove the battery of it. Oh, one other way, let me push this thing back in there. One other way, um, I also found uh, some video on YouTube that they use a Q-tip to push out the battery out of the place. But I found out that this is a little bit difficult than using a uh, small um, flat screwdriver. So either way, um, you can use either way to do it, whatever easier for you. Uh, it will come out much easier if you use uh, the flat screwdriver but that sometimes you could cause some damage to um, this um, this sensor here so that's why i saw that some people they use um, the uh, q-tip to push out the battery in here is the battery number and here is the battery number uh, I don't know if you can see this one, but I will show you on um, the new one that, that I got it from the store. 
It is a CR2450 and it is a 3 volt uh, battery. This is the uh, new battery that I will be replacing on uh, the old one. So um, you can get this battery uh, at the store like a Best Buy or Walmart or any battery uh, retail store. This thing cost me about $10. All right, so um, to put the um, new battery in, this is the battery, the new battery. This is the new battery. And make sure the positive sign, the positive side is on top. So um, to put the battery back in, simply slide this battery back in there. Put the um, sensor cover back on. And like I said, um, make sure the sign say top is on the top right there. And as you can see, the letter, the letter, my Q is facing up like this. And then just outline this together like that. Outline this together in the bottom. Make sure everything's outlined and then simply push to close and that is how you put the cover back on all right so this is how you do it the next step i will put this thing back on to the garage door so let's stay tuned and let's see how i put it back in there all right it's time to put this thing back on to the garage door and one more thing to uh, check before you put it back on make sure the word say top is on the top and the letter my Q is uh, standing uh, like this and this is how you can tell the top should go to the top and once again the word top should be on the top to put it back on. Simply uh, stick this thing back to the garage door to ensure it does not fall off the garage door. Make sure it stick firmly to the Velcro on the garage door. Next, I will check my cell phone, the app the MyQ app on my cell phone to see if it show um, no more message about the low battery. So let's stay tuned and let's take a look at my cell phone. Okay, um, now let's check to see if uh, the MyQ uh, app on my cell phone show no more uh, low battery. So let's just open it up. It's loading now. Okay, now it is showing no more message about the low battery. So that fixes it, the message. Now my garage door should be opening uh, normally. Okay, now it's time to try the garage door. All right, it is opening now. So that fixed the low battery issue and my garage door is opening normally now. Okay, now it's to test to see if it, cl it close the garage door. Now let's try to test it to see if it close the garage door. Now I'm pushing the garage door opener and it's beeping, meaning it's warning that the garage door will be closing 
in a few seconds. And here it goes. All right, job well done.